Hey everybody, Kennedy Hawk here. We are continuing our core set playthrough series using core set only cards, this time taking Spider-Man Protection up against Expert Rhino. We are using the recommended modular set, but since we're playing an expert, I'm going to play it a little bit more slowly and try to explain my decision making to help out some new players and make sure we have as few a game mis play mistakes as possible. We do have a break it and take in starting in play, because now that we're in expert mode, we're starting with Rhino 2 instead of Rhino 1. I'm just shuffling up the villain deck here. I had to restart because I realized I didn't put in my obligation. Um, but we were kicking his butt, I promise. So we'll see if we can do it again here to start. So this is actually a really hard matchup in the core set, because Spider-Man only has one thwart, and you require an ally to use his thwarting card. It's going to be really hard to remove break in and take in turn 1, which was one of the hints we had from the strategy guide, is like, have a solution to that in your deck. So our solutions are drawing into allies, specifically like drawing into Black Widow. So hopefully we can do that. <laughs> um, ultimately, Spider-Man's really good at defending, so it's probably not too bad if Rhino gets one of those extra attack cards, but it can be super devastating. So let's uh, draw our opening hand and see what we got going here. We have an Ant May, a Nick Fury. There we go. I get behind me an Armored Vest, a Helicarrier, and an Avengers Mansion. I want to pitch everything here except Ant May. Never discard Ant May. That's what the Learn to Play guide taught me. We're going to draw four new ones. Black Widow, Swinging Web Kick, and Webbed Up, and get behind me. So, it is our go. We can use Peter Parker's Scientist ability, along with Get Behind Me, Webbed Up, and Swinging Web Kick, to pay four to play Nick Fury. When Nick Fury comes to play, he's going to draw us three cards. We drew some good ones. Um, so we actually have a real good setup here. We can pay three to play Black Widow. We can pay one to play Aunt May and flip up as Spider-Man. Nick and Spider-Man can thwart away Breakin' and Taken. So I'm trying to get as many allies onto the board as possible. Um, Black Widow is just going to punch for one. Actually, Black Widow is going to sit there. So Black Widow has this ability to cancel an encounter card if a bad encounter card comes up. And she's a two thwart and a pinch, which we're going to need as Spider-Man. So we're holding her stats back, which is normally not the thing to do. But against uh, this setup, I think it's, it's the right move. So we're going to draw our new hand of five cards. We have Strength, First Aid, Enhanced Spider Sense, Web Shooter, and Armored Vest. So we're still getting set up here, but that's not a bad hand by any means. Um... And I'll put my hand over here to start the villain turn. One threat going in the main. Rhino is going to attack us for 3 plus something, and Nick Fury is here for it. 3 plus 1. Nick Fury is toast, which is totally fine. We don't have to make the calls like our Black Panther game. So it's going to take a long time to get him back, but I think that was okay. Let's put Black Widow back here with Aunt May, our friends. And we get a bomb scare right away. So that's a 3, three threat side scheme, so it's probably good that we kept Black Widow. I missed a really important trigger. I said I was going to play slowly. I'm going to rewind time and do it. <laughs> so when Rhino attacks you, before you declare defenders, you get to trick trigger Spider-Man's spider sensibility and draw a card. So we drew a second web shooter, which is really good for our economy. So it's Argo. Let's use first aid and spider sense to play two different web shooters. Those web shooters have three uses counters, and you exhaust them and remove a uses counter to uh, spend a resource, basically, a wild resource. I'm going to use damage because I'm not going to sort through all my tokens right now. We're going to spend one of those to play an Armored Vest. Black Widow and Spider-Man can thwart away the Bomb Scare. We're not going to flip down yet because we don't need to. I am going to get rid of this Strength in my hand and just look for, for damage at this point, though. So we have a Spider Tracer, an Indomitable, a Counter Punch, a Med Team, and a Counter Punch and one damage here on Black Widow before we ready everything up. So we've got a ton of economy now, and a really sturdy Spider-Man. So we're ready to start going for the kill. Rhino's going to go to two threat. He's going to attack us for three plus something. We're going to trigger our card draw before he attacks us. And I think I'm going to defend. So he's swinging for three, four against our four defense. We take no damage. Since we defended, we can respond with counter punch, which is... After your hero defends against an enemy attack, deal damage equal to your hero's attack. I'm totally cool with that. And the reason I'm going to spend both is in my hand, I've got three resources to play med team. Indomitable kind of helps me, but not as much in uh, solo. So I'd rather get a med team down to heal Black Widow and have her, you know, like uh, thwart continuously even though there's a little bit of a loss. 
So we want to spend all our resources, so we're going to spend two counter punches to deal four damage. We get an encounter card still, which is a crowd control, so that is a two threat side scheme. So Black Widow is real, really putting in some work for us, and it's our go. So like I said, um, actually what we'll do is we'll spend a spider tracer, uh, a web shooter, and two spider tracers to play a med team. It's going to be another thing with three counters on it, even though I haven't found my counter tokens yet. We'll spend one of those to heal Black Widow, even though it can heal two. We want to be able to thwart with her and not have her removed from the board. So let's get rid of crowd control. And she'll take that consequential damage back. We'll spend one more token on our last web shooter to play an Indomitable, so we could defend and ready. And notice, we haven't taken any damage yet between Nick Fury and Spider-Man's now four defense. We are super sturdy. So we're going to draw five cards. At this point, we're just cycling our deck looking for uh, swinging web kicks, and we drew into one this turn, so that's a real good sign. So Villain's turn. He is up to three threat. We want to stop drawing side schemes so we can work on that a little bit. He's going to swing for 3 plus something, and we top deck a card. It's a black cat. We have no backflips in hand, um, but I'm okay defending because I have Indomitable. So he's swinging for 3, 4, so we take no damage. We're going to discard Indomitable to ready, so we can push a little bit of damage and threat removal. We get an encounter card, which is a Hydra Bomber. When it comes into play, place 1 threat or take 2 damage, we will take 2 damage. Not a big deal. Now we're missing our Spider Tracers here, and it's our go. Um, so what is the right move here? That is a good question. I think first things first, let's use Spider-Man to get rid of Hydra Bomber. Second thing second, let's use Med Team to heal Black Widow and have her thwart for two so she gets unhealed. <laughs> I think that I'm going to use Genius to play Black Cat. When you play her, you discard the top two cards of your deck you draw all mental resources discarded. And we actually draw two off of that. That's a real good top deck for us. Um, so in our hand, we've got two Swinging Web Kick, Luke Cage, Indomitable, Armored Best, and Webbed Up. Um, and so we could play both copies of Swinging Web Kick using our Web Shooters. We would do a source of eight, putting him down to three. But then the second source, we wouldn't get to deal the whole eight because it'd be like overflow damage from Rhino two to three. So I think what we're going to do is we will use Armored Vest and Webbed Up and Luke Cage to play one Swinging Web Kick, which is going to deal 8 damage. We'll have Black Cat attack for 1. That always helps. And then I'm going to use the second Swinging Web Kick to play another copy of Indomitable. I could hold that in my hand, but I'm about to cycle my deck and put all three copies back in, and I left my resources out, so I'm pretty happy with where I sit. Um, and we're going to draw our five cards. We did not deck out. We have two cards in our encounter deck, so if he attacks us twice, we could be in trouble. We've got one threat going out, so we're up to two threat on the main scheme. Rhino is going to attack us, and we'll draw a card for the first attack. And we did have a backflip in hand, so we'll use it so that we take no damage. So that means he's going to swing for 3 plus 0. There goes an advance. That's really good for us. We have a counter punch that we can spend, so we'll spend it, which is going to punch him for 2 and push us to the next phase. He has toughness here, so we're going to have to ping him for something. He's going to stun each hero, which really slows us down. Um, and he's got, what is it, 16 hit points also known as a bunch of hit points that we have to chew through. And that was just his attack. We now get an encounter card, which is an I'm tough. If he was already tough, card searches, and he was. Into a Shadows of the Past. Oh, this is real nasty right now. Okay. I'm going to shuffle these Vulture cards into the encounter deck. Now Vulture has Quick Strike, so he's going to swing at us for three. Um, I think we'll defend it. So we don't take damage, and then we'll use Indomitable to ready. He also takes a random card from our hand and places it under... Oh, you know what? Let's play smart. We're smart here, right team? Let me... Never feel bad about rewinding time when you're playing in solo. I'm going to go ahead and remove those Vulture cards. And let's just put him over here, because we drew 
Shadows of the Past. And we have this awesome defensive card in Spider-Man's hand called Enhanced Spider Senses. So you spend a resource, which we can do during the villain phase, because this is a resource action, to play Enhanced Spider Senses to cancel the when revealed effects of an encounter card. So Shadows of the Past never goes off. Our life is way better, right? And it's our go. Um, I think we're going to spend the last counter on the second web shooter, our first aid, and our get behind me to play a Mockingbird. That is going to stun Rhino. A little bit less card draw from Spider-Man, but we're okay with that at this point. Let's go ahead and clear stunned off Spider-Man. And uh, Black Cat can ping Tough off. Mockingbird can hit him for one to turn off those surges from the Can't Keep Me Down. We will use our final med team counter to heal Black Widow, and then she'll remove threat from the main scheme just to get it down to zero. And it's going to be our go. So we're going to ready everything up. We've got one card left in our deck, which is a med team. We've got a shuffle, deal ourselves an encounter card, and get four more cards. So at this point, we have to do 15 damage. We've got three allies on the board. No threat in the main scheme. We're in pretty good shape here against Rhino. Um, we've even got an Indomitable down, so we can ready. So we've got our five cards. They are med team, counterpunch, get behind me, and backflip. So... Rhino is going to get one threat on the main scheme. He is not going to attack us because of stunned. And then we have two encounter cards to deal with. We have a charge, so he's now a seven attack character. That is gross. And a Sandman who comes out with toughness. So now we see we're at this point in the game where we say, do we need to clear Sandman because he's a 2-3 minion that can really cause problems for us? Or can we take out Rhino this turn? With our hand, med team, counter punch, get behind me, and backflip, and energy, we probably can't take out Rhino this turn. So the right answer is to start whittling away at Sandman. Now the problem with that is we actually don't have enough to get rid of Sandman either. Um, but we're going to do what we can and see how things go. So let's go ahead with Black Cat, ping Tough off of Sandman. And we're actually going to have Mockingbird hit Rhino and take a second damage and Spider-Man to deal two to Sandman. So the reason we're doing that is um, we want to get Mockingbird down to zero so she can soak attacks, which makes a ton of sense. We've got a lot of good cards in our hand, so we can use Counterpunch to eliminate Sandman. So we don't want to get Sandman to three because Spider-Man's going to deal two to him. So that makes sense. We uh, have Backflip to avoid the charge from Rhino. So those are two cards we want to keep in hand. And now we have Get Behind Me and Energy, which we don't need, so we can use those to play Med Team and get three counters out there. Um, so we've got three counters out here in Med Team. So now here's an important fact. You get to know what's in the discard pile, so we can look through here and see that there's only one advance. So I don't feel like I need to remove threat from the main scheme with Black Widow. At the same time, to be safe, let's heal one from her and just have her remove that threat. That way, if we do get an advance, a three boost icon card doesn't end our day. So we're going to hold on to backflip and counterpunch for specific reasons. Draw into two web kicks and an indomitable. So we should be able to end the game next turn, readying everybody up. We get a threat on the main scheme. Rhino is going to attack us. We draw a card off of spider senses, which is good because we need cards. Um, and he's attacking us for seven here. So for us to play swinging web kick, it's going to cost us three cards. So we have to think here. There's three cards we could spend on Swinging Web Kick. The second one, we don't have enough resources to play yet. So we kind of want to keep as many cards in our hand as we can, but we don't need to keep too many. So we're going to backflip out of this first one. That will get rid of charge, and we take zero damage. So here's a, here's, here's a decision point where we could counterpunch against the villain. That would put him down to 12, so that after our Web Kick, we only have to deal four, which... Honestly, I think that's actually what I'm going to do. I was going to save Counterpunch for Sandman, right? Because that'll defeat Sandman. But if I can defeat the villain, it doesn't matter if Sandman's dead. So I'm going to Counterpunch after that defense with Backflip to deal two to Rhino. Um, Sandman is going to attack us for three. And this we're going to defend so we don't take damage. And then we'll use Indomitable to ready our hero. So it might have been better to just take the three in case we draw something like a Stampede. But we don't. We draw an Eviction Notice. So this is Peter's obligation. We flip down to Peter form if we want and exhaust him to remove the obligation from the game. If we do that, we don't have enough damage to defeat 
Rhino, which makes me upset. The other thing we could do is we could discard a random card, and that's what I'm going to do, because even if I discard my Swinging Web Kick with my Web Shooter and my other two... I'm showing my hand, but not showing it to you. Even if I discard this Swinging Web Kick, I have two resources plus a Web Shooter to still get it off. If I discard one of these, same thing. I can play it either way. So um, it does give this card Surge, which could be annoying, but we're going to take our chances here, and we discard a Swinging Web Kick and Surge into... An enhanced ivory horn. So there's a card we don't care about. It boosts his attack for the next turn, like next attack, or until we get rid of it. But he's not going to get any more attacks. We're in good shape here. All right. So what we're going to do is spend our last web shooter, along with Indomitable and Luke Cage, to play a swinging web kick. It's going to let us hit him for eight. Pow kapow. Black Cat will ping him for one. Mockingbird is going to go away and ping him for one. And again, we don't care that she's going to go away because now Spider-Man can ping him for two. We could, even if we wanted, heal Black Widow and remove all the threat from the main scheme, leaving us in, like, real good board state. So there you go. We took down Expert Rhino with protection. Spider-Man, there's not a lot of thwart potential in that deck. We really looked out drawing into Nick Fury super early. Hopefully explaining my gameplay decisions helped you all. If you have suggestions on how to pilot uh, Spider-Man against Rhino or suggestions for new players um, when playing against Expert Rhino for the first couple times, leave those in the comments below. Like and subscribe this video if it helped you out. And we'll see you again when we go up against the Immortal Claw. And we haven't used our Spider-Man, or not our Spider-Man, our Iron Man Justice deck. So I have to decide if I want to do that against him or Ultron. And I, I think... I think we're going to do it against the claw. Thanks for tuning in, and have a great day.